Hey y'all, it's Amy with Amy and Art Designs. How are you doing today? Today has been crazy. Oh gosh, it's the wrong thing pinned. I'm just going to delete that comment. Um, Today has been a little crazy. We had a meeting for my son this morning, so everything's kind of got pushed back, but I am super excited. I've got a super cute project to make with you today, and I can't wait to share it with you. So come on in, say hello. Let me know where you're watching from. Of course, if you're watching the replay, use that hashtag replay so that I can see that you stopped by, because I love to hear from you guys. Tell me how your week has been. Hey, Michelle. Yeah, everything is actually good. So it's my kiddo that has special needs. We had a school meeting this morning. And I generally um, dread those. Let's just. Um, but um, it went well. It went really better than what I could have hoped for. And so I'm just really kind of grateful for that. So. Um, yeah, yes. Please sprinkle. I need to edit that and say sprinkle, sprinkle. Yes. Um, Let's see here. Um, yes, thank you for sprinkling. I always forget to put that in the top, right? I forget to put that. So how's your week been? Tell me about your week. Um, yeah, we're going to make something fun today. We are going to make a super fun shelf sitter. Um, i got to find the right pieces. I mean, I have all the right pieces here. Just some of them are near, too narrow. Let me see here. I think these are the narrow ones. So... This week we did, let me tell you about our week and then we'll start crafting. Hey, Tammy, I'm so glad you're here, my friend. Um, we had a great week. Um, it's been busy. It has been crazy busy for us. You see, Michelle, you got your hair cut and dyed and your nails done. Oh, girl. So I got my hair cut and dyed last week. So you can tell it's a little shorter and it's a little darker. I've been coloring it myself with um, Madison Reed. Um, but I just, I don't know, it was too long and I felt like everything was a little off. And um, so I went and had it done. I'm actually really happy with it. Super happy. So um, yeah, you know what? It hasn't been this dark for a long time, but it, it all is like the same. And I'm very happy with that. Ah, thank you, Tammy. I do have my, my jar ready. So we're going to pick some names today. Um, let me add this in so you guys can see what I'm doing when you're talking. Good. I'm glad you're happy with it. So my nails, I use red aspen, which um, I can't keep fingernail polish on my nails. It just doesn't stay. I don't have the time to go get them balanced every three weeks. And it bothers me when I can see that they're grown out. And so I, um, I use red aspen. Matt is Red Aspen, and I love them. Hey, Kim. How are you guys doing? Um, this I thought would be super fun because it goes, it's a spring theme, right? Um, and it goes with, you guys can tell this is like, this one is super easy to peel because the, the pieces are bigger. The pieces are bigger. Um... Yeah, so these bigger ones, see, a lot of times they just, when there's no intricate cuts, just comes right off. Super fast. So we're going to make some birdhouses. And I was going to show you guys how to do, how many of y'all have done um, chippy, ch ch chippy, chippy paint with, um, so yeah, we're going to do, so let me tell you what we're doing and let's say hi to everybody. So um, we're going to make a birdhouse shelf sitter with, and we're going to use the chippy paint with Vaseline. So we're going to distress it using Vaseline. And then we're going to, um, we are going to put it together and I'm going to put some like embellishments or some like bonus, some bonus, fun little bonuses. Um, we're going to use some moss. Maybe some raffia, some jute, just make it look. But I I took the bird from our Joyful Crafting Club and I shrunk him down and he's going to go in one of the houses. Isn't he cute? 
Oh, hey, Leslie, how are you, my friend? So that is the plan for today. And I th I'm going to use the same colors that I did in my tray for the club because I want it to coordinate. So that is my plan. I, I've been thinking like how much fun it would be to have like a fun birdhouse shelf sitter for spring. I'll tell you guys a funny story. So on Saturday, my youngest, my six-year-old woke up and he was like, mom, how many sleeps until Easter? And I was like, well, love, Easter's tomorrow. And he's like, but mom, why aren't our Easter signs up? And I'm like, you mean like the Easter decorations on the mantle? Because I didn't get them up this year. I mean, this spring has flown by. We've had so many changes like in our personal life in terms of like work and the kids activities that it has just been a whirlwind. He was like, well, where are all of our like Easter signs? I was like, well, they're still in the basement and the tent. He's like, so like Easter is like tomorrow. I'm like, yeah. And he was like, mom, we've got to put the signs up or like the Easter bunny won't know. <laughs> so... I'm trying to do better and get some things together around the house that are going to like, I didn't realize the kids noticed as much as they did. I thought I was just kind of doing it for me. So yeah, I love birdhouses too. Um, but it's going to be fun. We're going to do some stuff. So Michelle's here. Hey, Michelle. Tammy's here. Hey, Tammy. Thank you guys for sprinkling. Kim's here. Hey, Kim. Leslie. Hey, Leslie. So glad you guys are here. Thanks for saying hi. Let's go ahead and get started. This is um, not really a super um, difficult project to paint because it's mostly bigger pieces, which makes it fun. Oh, hey, we've got Lynn from Vegas. Um, if you're first time too, let us know so we can say hi to you. Oh, Lisa. The Easter basket carrots you got were, oh, I'm so glad you liked them, Lisa. Yeah, you know what? I've been trying to do a, a few like finished projects here and there where I have capacity. I'd like to make it more of a regular thing, but um, they're just, it's something quick and, you know, when I can do them in bulk in batches that way, I can offer them at a great price. And I also, it takes less, I mean, and I know, you guys probably get this, right? It takes less time to do a bigger amount than it would if I had to do like one a day over, you know. So that's why I like to do that order cutoff thing. Um, it also lets me, you know, do a better price because it takes less time. So I'm so glad. Thank you for letting me know. Um, oh, Kim, thank you for sprinkling. Um. Girl, you're in Hocking Hills. Are you serious? Are you like at the state park? I'm jealous. Oh my gosh, what? Okay, so Kim and I both live in Ohio. Um, and Hocking Hills is one of the coolest places to go. It's um, gorgeous. And it's got these gorgeous hills and um, hiking and waterfalls. And it's just, I mean, it's breathtaking. Just such a fun place to be. So, oh, have fun. Um, oh, pain of relaxations. Hey, thanks for hopping on. Thank you for sprinkling, Kim. Michelle from Washington. Hey, Kim, how are you? So, all right, let's get started. So, this is, we're going to use the chippy paint method. Go on this side. So this has got like a little knot in it, which is totally normal for wood. Um, kind of is going to give it some character, I think. So let me see what side I'm going to do. So I'm going to paint. This is going to be like white. These are the base. I'm going to do these in navy, I think, because I'm going to do the roof in navy. So I've got that. And the roof is the same both ways, so it doesn't matter which way you put it. Um, these I'm going to do in white and these I was, you know what, I'm going to do them in navy. I'm going to do white and navy. I was going to do, um, use the decor wax, but I don't really think I want to. I think I'm just going to do white and navy. Let's see here. Oh, thank you. I didn't know your grandson lives with you, Tammy. I'm so glad you liked it. 
my kids liked it. He liked it. I, it just makes my day. And those are, um, I like being able to make something that like you can't go buy, you know, I mean, they, they love things with their names on it. My kids, um, they loved theirs too. And they were like, but mom, you made this. How did the Easter bunny know that you made him? I'm like, the Easter bunny knows. I don't know how much longer we can keep that up. Kim, these are not on my site yet, but I'm going to get them up. Um, the intention, here, let me tell you guys, the intention was to get them up before in case you guys were interested. But the truth is, like, it is just that these meetings, honestly, for my son with special needs, I don't know how many of you guys have kids or grandkids that have special needs, but sometimes, like, the just the prep and the time it takes to do them is, um, it's massive. And so, but it went well. It, I feel like we're finally turning a corner. Um, so I'll get them up and I'll send um, an email and a text out to let you guys know, okay? Um, and yeah. So I will definitely let you know. Um, so let's. So when you do the Vaseline, I've just got like generic Vaseline. How many of you guys have done this? I've got a glove on because I don't want to have to like go back and leave the table and wash my hands. But basically all you do is you just are going to rub some Vaseline in wherever you want that aging to be. And when you think about aging wood, you're, it's, it's generally wood will weather, like things will weather on the edges, around the edges and um, places where there's lots of touch points before it will weather um, in the center. That doesn't mean that you can't, you know, let's just throw some in there. Do the, do the center, but those are just going to be your first touch point. So you don't want to age a piece of wood, like only in the middle, because it's not going to look natural. If you, if you're going for a natural look, if you're going for like a unique individual look, you can do, um, do it however you want. But generally things are going to age first, um, around the edges. So that's why we're going to do that. Let's see, Kim says, oh, yeah, I'll tell you what, you become the dumb mom. I have a master's in elementary education, and I have been sitting in speech therapy with some of the best speech therapists for apraxia in the country for a decade, right? And they still, you kind of become dumb. I mean, I hate to say that. It's the truth, though. You just kind of, it's like all of a sudden, these people who don't know your kids are experts, and your input does not matter. At least that has been my experience. And it is maddening. Like you sit there and you're like, mm, well, I mean, it has been, okay, it took us six months of battling to get some good changes and another six months to see results from those changes. So I'm hoping we're finally headed in the right direction. Oh, your youngest son and your daughter-in-law live with you. You know what? That is a blessing. I'll tell you what. My sister lived with my parents, with my niece for quite a while. And, you know, in the U.S., like that's, you know, I think it's such a beautiful way for families, especially um, helping them get started sometimes. And, you know, just all the things that you need help with. I, I a lot of times think that that we set our kids free way too young before they have the support that they need or the skills they need. You know what I mean? I knew I could have benefited from some more help. So, hey, um, hey, Gail. Well, yes, I'm Eastern and Sandy. Hey, Sandy, how are you? So, yeah, and I was late this morning. We had a meeting for my son, so I'm just kind of finally, it, it went, it went longer than I thought. And so there we go. So yeah, we're doing the chippy paint or like the distress paint method. And we're going to try some Vaseline this time. So you can sand it, but this is just the whole idea behind this is that it, the paint doesn't stick where you put the Vaseline. So, and I'm going to do some on these stands, the sign, I might do the sign in wood. Let's think about that. I might just do it in Navy though. Um, so yeah. And I just, again, the gloves, just so that, um, 
and it's going to let the wood show through. So if you wanted to, you could paint this one color and then put the Vaseline on that color after it dries. And then you could paint another color and then the other color is going to show through and you don't have to sand it. That's another way to think about this, right? So Gail says you still remember the IEP meetings. Yeah. Yep. So, and I think um, your daughter has, yep. And she has IEP meetings all the time. Gail's daughter teaches bed, you know, and I think that there's um, like my aunt taught sped for 30 years, I think. And um, I'm not saying that all, all the time you become dumb mom, but sometimes you have, when you have someone who has family experience with special needs, they approach it differently than somebody who maybe doesn't. Right. And so, I mean, I don't know. It's just, it has been, it has taken a lot to get us to where we are for sure. That is for sure. We'll see how this looks. We can always come back and touch it up, right? I am thinking I'm just going all white and navy today. I just kind of feel like that's what I'm going to do. And we're going to see how it turns out. And the bird I'm going to do, I think, in pink. But I might do navy. We'll see. Okay. So I'm going to move these. This is going to be white. So... I'm just going to use um, acrylic paint. I'm not going to use the baby wipes because I've got the, um, I've got the, I'm going to grab my, hold on, my, just this thing. What is this thing called? My egg crate for the paint. Um, I'm just going to use acrylic paint. <sighs> yeah, the IEP meetings. Um, they are... They are what they are, you know? I mean, it's, I think it's come a long way to like in, in what, at least the district we're in, they've been supporting him in a way that has really helped him in a, over the last six months, which I'm grateful for, right? So we're just going to go over this and I've just got a sponge makeup wedge. And on the edges, because of the way I don't want to like slop my paint over the edge if I can help it. So I'm just lifting up a little bit. Okay. So. Dun, dun, dun. Yep. So, and then, um, yeah, I just, you know, all you ever want as a mama is for your kids to be doing really well, right? You want them to whatever that gifting is that they have from the good Lord above. You want them to be able to live the best life possible, you know, whatever that means for that particular kid. And it is hard to watch your kiddos struggle. Um, oh, your kid, your district listened to you and they, they had early intervention before the school district took over. Yeah. My Nate has been, um, since he was 15 months, we have had intervention for him. So it's been, I mean, he's 11. I mean, his speech um, is amazing. It's really, really good. Um, he has a, a severe speech disorder and some other learning delays and stuff like that. So it's been, um, the, the apraxia is so rare. You know, like one in 1,000 kids have it. I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about this before. And so a lot of times they don't know what to do, how to approach it. Um, they have to they have to figure it out. My other son, my my middle son has, um, Luke, he has dyslexia. And he's made amazing progress. Okay, girls, we're just going for it here. Um, so the paint pretty just doesn't stick where we've got that Vaseline. Okay. I might have went like a little crazy with the Vaseline. We'll see what it looks like when we're all done. All right. So if you've done this before, drop me in the comments if you've done the Vaseline technique. And if not, put no in the comments. Let me know. Let's see how many of you guys have tried this one. Um, 
would love to see how many of y'all have tried this one. Let's see here. I am going to just pop another coat on. No, no. Okay. Yeah, you see where it's not going on all of the way? Nope. Okay, so it's just going to... Um, I'm thinking we're going to need to go back with the decor wax and give it a little bit of aging, right? But I wanted to try like a more of a of a of a farmhouse look without having to spend forever sanding. I feel like I sand a lot on my lives. So I'm always getting in there with the sandpaper. So, um this will kind of do that without the sandpaper. So, we're just going to let this kind of dry to the touch. So you can definitely age it with sandpaper. And once it's dry to the touch, we are going to, um, let me grab my tape, it's right here. We're gonna um, rub that off and see what it looks like. Oh, Gail. Gail saying that um, her son's doing really well now, has a fantastic job in IT and loves it and married. That's such a blessing. I love it. I love it. Yeah, your oldest girls have hearing. Okay, so Tammy said she's got some um, granddaughters with hearing loss and they were hearing age. Yeah, and you, you know, you want them to, to be able to like have access to all of the same things, right? And have all the same experience and success. And you know what? It just, sometimes you gotta fight for it. But that's why they call us mama bears, right? So, um, oh, Tammy has, okay. I think I might have gotten a little crazy with the Vaseline. It may be a little extreme, but... We shall see how it looks. Okay, so I just put this on the tape, guys, to hold it in place. That's like the easiest way to hold it in place. So, and then it's so easy to move them, right? Because they're all taped down. I'm going to move these over. I might move them over here. So look at this. This is one of the things I got from ThreadUp. I don't know if you guys remember, I was talking about my thrift store clothes. <laughs> <laughs> but this like put on these pants and this shirt I there's this website called thread up and um so there's a story behind it when I was in Florida um I had to go to I don't know if anybody remembers I was in Florida to go down and check on some things down there and um and I was my sister-in-law lives down there and we have a good family friend that lives down there too. And um, we one day walked around and went shopping. And there was this store, Tina Stevens. And she had travel clothing is what it was kind of called. Tina Stevens travel clothing. Have you guys heard of that? Um, so anyway, our family friend, Roberta, was like, oh my gosh, these pants are so cute. You would look so cute in these, blah, blah, blah. And they were like $125. And I'm like, you know, I don't have any business spending $125 on a pair of pants. Believe me. I got three kids and not spending $125 on a pair of pants. So, because her clothes are expensive. So I went back to the hotel and I looked at, um, looked on thread up and I found some things by Tina Stevens and I got a great deal on them. Like, I think this shirt was like $9 and, um, oh my gosh, it is so comfy. Remember the green jumper I had on the other day? Um, like sometimes I just don't want to look like all schleppy all day long. And this is so comfy and I can, it feels like pajamas, but I don't look like, I don't look schleppy. So very happy about that. Um, Kim. So you said you took your kids out of public school. Yeah. So I homeschooled him 
from first until the middle of fourth grade. Same things, guys. I've got my navy now. Um, yeah, that's what I thought. Cute for spring, right? And I, I love being able to find something. Um, I, I, I really like thread up. I'm like all about the deal, the bargain. You said the only thing about it is you got to dig through the website, you know. Um. Super, super comfy, super comfy. You know what? It's, I heard someone say before oh, she was talking about, it was, it was like um, a speaker. She was talking about like going through menopause and all of those fun things that, that we go through. And she was like, once you hit 40, you should never be required to wear pants without elastic. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I can relate to that. Like once you have, like you just, well, I had, I was pregnant with Gabe when I was 40. And so we have a whole nother thing, but, um, yeah, I don't, I don't really know if anyone should have to wear, um, pants with, um, elastic in their forties or without elastic. Cause I'll tell you what, things start changing. I don't, I hate to shop. I do not like to shop for clothes. I hate it. I don't like to shop for my kids. I don't like to shop for me. I am that person who's like, I just want that. I want someone to do it for me. I do not enjoy it whatsoever. I'm going to check these and see if these see if they're dry. I do not enjoy it. I don't want to do it. Take me to Hobby Lobby and I am like happy as a clam. But I do not want to have to go, oops, flying all over the place, um, shopping for myself. I, I do not like to close shop, period. Good morning, Miss Lisa. How are you? We are making a spring shelf sitter. If you're just joining us and we're using the Vaseline method to get a little bit of a chitty paint look. And so I'm just wiping that off and see how that, we're going to go back and use the decor wax and darken that up a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I'll go to Hobby Lobby all day, every day, but please don't like send me to, like, please don't make me go try on clothes. Like, I just, ugh. I don't enjoy anything about it. Look how cool that looks. So I, I went, I used quite a bit of Vaseline. I went a little heavy on the Vaseline, but I also had my gloves on, so I couldn't feel the wood as much. But I didn't want to have like Vaseline all over my hands when I painted. So we're going to darken this up. But look how cool that looks. That looks really cool. So yeah, I, I do not enjoy clothes shopping at all. I don't enjoy a shoe. It does become a chore. It um Because it, it feels like, oh my gosh. Oh, and you like try it on and it's you look bad in it. Or you're like... How can this not be? What I mean, just all the things that go with clothes shopping, just not my thing at all. Let's do these. So I'm going to do the base in navy. I thought about doing them in wood, but um, in the decor wax. But I'm thinking, what in navy? Navy and white. Um, nice and springy, right? Um, but yeah, no, I am not. Don't make me go clothes shopping. I I don't mind it. Like if I can order it. Have it shipped to my house or, you know, try it on and then send back what I don't like. But and then you're in the bright lights and mm, I just, I don't. But I just, anyway, just me. I, I'm, and with same with shoes, like I'm in and out. Like I just, if, if I can't in the first couple of times. Yes, I'm making a birdhouse. Yes, we are making a spring shelf sitter birdhouse duo. I'm going to call it a duo. So, yes. Um, oh. <laughs> oh, I don't like that either. I do not like the, the, any of it. I'm always like, oh, can't someone just pick it out for me? Yeah. Yeah, me either. Me either. 
So I just am using this um, navy paint, and this is the base. It's going to have three layers, um, and I'm just, and then we're going to, again, wipe it off when, when we get, I kind of think the bird needs to be blue. Um, I kind of think, yes, making a birdhouse, I kind of think it needs to be. Okay, so we have a little bird I was going to put on the birdhouse. Let me show you the other plants. And you guys can start thinking about what color we need to do the bird. Because I was going to put this um, Spanish moss on there. Um, I was going to use jute because we're going to put a little welcome to our nest sign. And then I have this in case we want to do some bows. But, like, what color should the bird be? Because I got the pink out like this. But now I'm thinking no on the bright pink. I think it's, like, too much. Maybe the little wing could be bright pink. What are y'all thinking about, about um, colors for, um, for the bird? We have to do our sign, which I think I'm either going to do in navy or in, in like a um, decor wax color. Um, we could do red. I kind of wanted it to match. Do you see the tray back there? Hold on. That tray that we did. I kind of wanted to set it with that tray. Yellow, red. Um, I know I don't have all your names up on the wall yet for the Joyful Crafting Club. So please just give me grace. Give me grace. I, I've got most of them in a pile over there painted and ready to hang. Um, red wing and a white bird, yellow, I've seen lighter blue and a white, kind of like, yeah, baby blue, Gail seeing baby blue. My husband says I'm looking awful cute today. Thank you, honey. <laughs> He's a mess. He's equally happy that I bought this clothes secondhand. I will tell you that he's equally happy that it's all secondhand clothing. So I am not, I went to um, my cousin's uh, nephew's graduation party and he was like, Oh, that dress is so cute. I'm like, it's even cuter because I paid six bucks for it. I am not. Ma, there is a great store store right by my house. And I frequently pop in just to see if they have like a little, Cause they'll have like cute little dresses or like whatever. I don't, the thrift shop, I mean, like, I don't mind, you know, just pop in and look. I don't, I don't usually try it on. I just grab it if I think it'll fit. But, um, yeah, he's equally happy that I paid like eight bucks for it or something. Promise you that. Um, okay. Um, where are you, Joe? I didn't hear you come home yet. Are you still there? Where are you? Where are you? We have, um, he's got a Cub Scout camp out this weekend. He and my and Nady are going Cub Scout camping. And um, so, or Boy Scout, Boy Scout. So that is going to be fun. So I'm just wiping this. I think I probably need to go back and wipe the other one off and see what it looks like. Oh, you're still in the car running errands. I'll grab some colors here in a minute and we can look at them. Thank you, Mary Beth. You're watching on YouTube. So I learned something this week. The girls in my Joyful Crafting Club told me they were like, they like to um, watch the replays or watch on YouTube and paint along. And so I'm so glad I've been streaming to YouTube. I love my YouTube people. I have not had as many tutorials ready for you guys, um, but I'm going to get back on that train. It just took me a while to get my crafting club up and going, um, the Joyful Crafting Club. And so oh, this is kind of, I'm not sure about this. I need to do some repairing. Um, hey, Amy, you're not late. I was late today. Let me tell you what. I just made a meeting for my son. This is going to stack. We'll see how this looks. I'm going to sand it too. So this is not the finished product. I do like how the navy kind of stains the wood though. I do like that. 
We are not, not near done. Let me move this over. So when it's dry to the touch, wipe the Vaseline off. Um, you're not late. Like I just, everything today, we're just rolling with it because we've got, we've got, um, it's, it's been life, lots of life. But like, like I said, I feel like we're finally moving in the right direction. I, I do feel like no matter where we were, I want to say this because we're in a great school district with apraxia because it's so rare. I think anybody would kind of, you know, struggle with it. So it's just hard to get your head around. I'm his mom and it took me a while to figure out how to help him. So, and I went to all the therapy sessions. I put way too much Vaseline on that end. Let's just be honest about that. You like, so we're going to take some sandpaper to it. This is not finished, but this just makes it look a little funky and weathered without having to go in so hard with your um, sandpaper. Okay. And we can, we can definitely, I did this with my gloves on because I didn't want to have Vaseline all over my hands and have to run and wash them. Um, let's see, that's a little cleaner, but we're going to go back in with a decor wax. We're going to sand it a little bit and we're going to see how it shakes out. I have a paint all over my hands. So you, I could have like painted this white underneath, like I said, and let it dry. And then the white can could show through. So there's a lot of ways to use this technique. Um, I just did it straight on wood because um, I probably, if I wanted to have this white first, I probably should have painted it. Or I could have just went in and touched it. It does look vintage. And that's kind of what I was going for with this. Um, just like a little vintagey and funky. Let me grab some more colors. Um, let's see, we used conch shell and blue haven. Um, I'm thinking the blue haven, maybe blue and white for the bird. Um, let me get the, oh, I do, do I have the decor wax? I do. Good, good, good. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about one of those colors? We are making a birdhouse, a birdhouse shelf sitter duo. Um, spring, we're going to add some, sp some Spanish moss. <sighs> All right, guys, I think the sign, I almost feel like the sign needs to be navy. I think adding like brown in at this point is going to take away from that look. I, we've got some brown with the wood, but I really just kind of want to make this an all navy. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And we're going to see how we like it. Um, oh, you guys are welcome. This is, this is fun for me. This is where I'm in my element. I feel like, um, I, I really enjoy hanging out. I look forward to hanging out with you guys and crafting with you and learning with you you know it's just so much fun i learned so much from you guys too yeah that's what i'm thinking tammy i'm thinking like a really nice navy and white and then the bird can be another accent so these little things are going to be like posts um for the birdhouse and i have spacers so that they're going to stand up. So we're going to put it like that. Okay. So it's going to, can you even see? You know, I've been liking my spacers with the wood decor. We got spacers in the Joyful Crafting Club for our, um, for our watering can. I keep wanting to call it a watering pot, but it's a, it's a watering can. Um, and then I have no Vaseline. I think that's okay. I'm just going to, I can hit those with the sandpaper. Um, these are little. I'm afraid if I go in there with the Vaseline, I'm going to make them look funky junky. Oh, okay. Let's talk about this. I was just talking about this. So, look, this, hold on, this came from Thread Up. Can you see these pants? They're super, like, comfy. And then this top is, like, do you see, like, it It hides all of the stuff, guys. Like, all of this right here, you, you can't even tell I have it. Let me see. There. 
I'm on camera, so you can't even tell. Like it just hides it. So I got it on thread up. So there's a story. I'll tell the story again. So when I was in Florida, um, I spent the day with um, my sister-in-law and a really good family friend, like family. And so she, um, we went in this one store, it's Tina Stevens Travel Clothing. And um, Roberta was like, oh, that's such a, look at these pants. This outfit is so cute. You should, it's $125 for the pants. And like, I'm like, I've got three children. Like, I'm not independently wealthy. Like, you cannot buy pants that are $125. Like, uh, it's not going to happen. I mean, I've got a lot of things that I can use that money for, but not a pair of pants. Like, not today. Not today. And so, um, <laughs> And so when I got back to my hotel, I looked up on thread up T H R E D U P thread up. I don't know. Has anyone shopped there before? Um, it's kind of a, a job to shop there because you have to, um, kind of dig, but I found some Tina Stevens clothing and I, I, they were a great price. I think like the shirt was less than $10. I think the pants were like 12 or 15 maybe at the most mm. and so I ordered them um, so I'm just gonna give it a try see what I think right and um oh my gosh they are so comfy and um honestly I sit honest I'll just be honest with you guys like I sit on this side of the camera sometimes and I look at myself and I think I look really schleppy so I don't really like to look super schleppy but I want to be super comfy like I don't um want to run around and like because it's hard to it, Jennifer and I were talking about this when we did that it's hard to like look at yourself on on camera and talk to you guys the whole time and you think oh man why didn't I why didn't I do my hair <laughs> So, um, anyway, all of that to say, like, I got the clothes for a super great deal. And I feel like I'm in my pajamas. And like I was saying, once you're 40, like, you should not be required to wear pants with elastic anymore. Right? Um, okay. And these earrings um, are from, um, I got them as a gift. They are nickel and suede um, is the brand and she's on Instagram and a small business owner. She's fabulous. She's got, I mean, she has worked her, I heard her speak. She, I was at a um, bit like a, like a learning seminar thing and I heard her talk. I'm going to go with light blue with the bird and we're going to see how we like it. Um, and so anyway, she has like worked her tail off. She has some kids that have struggled. Um, one of her kids had a, a cleft, cleft palate, multiple surgeries, but like she legitimately built the whole business and she's fabulous. And so like, if you ever want to treat yourself to a pair of earrings, I mean, and they're not, I mean, she gifted these, but her earrings are, you know, <laughs> They, their quality and she, I think like $30 or $40, I want to say, um, but they're just amazing. And you can't even tell you have them on and I can't stand to wear jewelry if I can feel it. So I know, yes, you have sezzle. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know what? Um, thread up yeah so and you know what if you go for the first time you get like a discount and if you haven't shopped there for a while you get a discount and yes like the midsection i mean it's a thing this is my friend angie hi angie girl what have you been painting lately let's see if she's still here or if she left she might have just popped on to say hi Hey, Sandy. Good to see you, my friend. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, these lines, I'm going to paint. I'm going to glue the wing down. And then, so I'm not going to worry about it. And I'm going to paint the eye black with a paint marker. These sponges. Okay. 
they've been harder and harder to find. Um, what I will tell you is that I get mine on Amazon in like a huge pack. I have not, like, I used to just be able to get them for, like, two bucks from Target. And I don't know if it's, like, a, a post-COVID thing or if it's, um, but I get them. And then you can see, like, I just cut the end off and then I use the little piece. So, um, there is someone. Lisa, yes. It really is. She's Lisa saying that it's so inspiring to see what other people do. It is. You know what? And what I love about like seeing other people is like it sparks an idea and you're like, oh, well, let me try this and let me try that. Or I never thought about it like that. You know, um, and you learn to do new things. So I totally agree. So Angie says you're dying fabric today for crafting. All right. You bought a wedding dress for 10 bucks and today you're going to cut it up and use it in crafting. Girl, you guys, she's got great ideas. This is my friend, um, Angie, and this is her site. Go check her out. She's so much fun. She is so much fun. Hey, Miss Linda. So I'm thinking, should this be? Mm, I don't know. I'm not really seeing this as blue in my head, but I don't know what. Maybe navy. I don't know. We're going to hold off on that for a second when I think about it. If anyone has ideas about the wing, because I'm kind of thinking like white. Um, maybe, maybe we'll try white. That would be easy to paint over if we're unhappy. Oh, Michelle follows Angie. Yeah, everyone should. She's got Angie's great. Green wing, green, green would be cute. Is there any green in that tray? You know what? I have this light green. Hold on, that we used the sea moss green. Um, Walgreens they have them, but they're for something. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! They're for something. I know I'm kind of thinking navy. This green, but that would be the only green. I don't know. Sometimes I have an idea in my head. I can kind of see the picture in my head before I not opposed to stained wood. I'm gonna rub this in and just kind of see what it looks like. We're gonna let this dry and see what we think. Sometimes I get like I can. I can see right now, I can see the navy and the white and the birdhouse. I saw that all in navy and white, but I did not see the, um, the bird. I have no, I just, sometimes I can see it in my head, but this time I can't. Um, let's sand this down a little bit. I'm going to put this over here. So this, um, and I want to try and darken that up. Yeah, Angie's, Angie does fun stuff over there. We, um, Angie is on, we're on a Voxer thread together. So we, we chat almost daily, right? If not every other day, there's a bunch of us that chat about, I don't know, things, creativity, work, family, COVID, vacation. We talk quite often. Just girlfriends. So we are constantly in communication about all the things. So this is clogging up my sandpaper super fast. And I'm guessing it's because I put the Vaseline in there. Um, and it's just picking that up and it's clogging my sandpaper. So... Um, yes, we, uh, we chat like besties. That is, I mean, I know we pretty much know 
what's going on in each other's lives at any given moment, I would say is pretty, pretty true, right? Um, all the things, all of the things that we talk about. <laughs> um, attack rag, Sandy, this is attack cloth. I mean, it's just a, an orange, uh, just like a, you know, you get them for like a buck or a buck 99 or whatever. I buy them in bulk from Amazon and I usually cut them up into small pieces. But I think when Joe was um, sanding down the boards, um, cause when I need wood, he'll, he'll, um, he goes and gets like the big sheet and has them cut it, do a few cuts and then he does the rest. Um, and then, um, he'll go and sand him, sand the wood down and he just grabs a big one too. When I'm just doing my stuff, I grab a little, I just cut it up, but I think he just grabbed it and you know, to do the, get the wood off before we put the mask on. So, so my, um, I, I think I told you guys, I'm getting like a, a big laser, a thunder laser and it's, they're delivering it on Thursday. No, yeah, Thursday of next week. Um, they showed up the other morning at like eight o'clock. We need a forklift to get this thing off the truck. And um, so it's eight o. It's eight eight o ten. It's eight ten. And um, I look out the window and I see this big truck that says I don't know if it said ground force or something like that for forceful ground. I'm sorry. I'm shaking the heck out of the camera. This is the other reason. So, um, so I'm like, Oh my gosh, Joe, they're, they're here with the laser. And we run outside and I'm like, they were supposed to call us because we knew we were going to need a forklift to get it off the truck. And the guy looks at us. He's like, so I don't think we're going to be able to get this thing off the truck. It's bigger than the lift gate. And we're like, yeah, they were supposed to call us blah 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 and anyway so they called and we we're having a skid steer delivered and with a with forks on the front so we we have a construction company also and so we're overly familiar with we've talked about this before with like equipment and stuff so we're having a skid steer and then we're gonna have to like back it down the hill by our house and down around back so I cannot wait because it's going to make things faster and I'm going to be able to cut bigger stuff. Um, I got the, the, the 51 130. So what that means y'all is it's a 51 inch bed and the laser wattage is 130. I don't know. What, what, what do you have? I don't remember what you have. Angie's got a laser too. We are making um, a birdhouse, guys. If you're just joining us, we're making a birdhouse sprinkle, guys. Make sure, tell all the people, tell tell your corners of the interweb that we are over here having a great time. Sanding wood and using Vaseline to make our, our crafting. Um, okay, you have a 35100. Okay, yeah, I did. But... Um, Kim, someone said she wants to learn how to cut wood. Okay. So Lisa, I started out, honestly, um, when I woodworked with my dad growing up, right? So I was super familiar with, with woodworking. It wasn't new to me at all. My dad could make amazing. That's where I came up with Amy and Art because my dad, um, was a hobby woodworker and he could just build anything and his work was gorgeous. And so, um, I spent a gazillion hours with him woodworking and I learned to use the bandsaw and the, um, you know, the table saw and the router and how to stain and all those things. And so, years later and so i've always been a crafter and a maker because i got that from my dad like i just loved i cross stitched and I, I mean you name it I've, I've tried it and i hooked rugs and i crocheted my granny taught me how to crochet you know um and so then move fast forward a whole lot of years i got a silhouette 
when they came out, which is like a cricket, but it's a silhouette. And I'm going to, I'm going to go in here with some decor wax guys. So I'm just going to see, I like this. I like the, the color of this wood a lot. Um, so I don't want to add too much because I really like the color of this wood. But anyway, I got us, which is uses the same kind of files that I use on, on my Glowforge because I have a Glowforge now. And so I was super familiar with like the process of taking a file, sending it to a machine, having it cut. And then when, um, and this is the truth. I used to homeschool my kids. I homeschooled them for three and a half years. Um, that's a story for another time. But <clears throat> during that time, I ran a co-op, um, a homeschool co-op. And I, for the moms, I got these pencils off of Etsy with funny sayings like chaos coordinator, snack dispenser, Jesus and coffee, you know, um, just funny mom sayings. And I, I was watching how this company that I ordered them from, they had videos of how they made the pencils on their, on their Etsy page. And I kept showing Joe, I'm like, Joe, look how cool this is. Because they put them inside this machine and they push a button and it engraves the pencils. I'm like, how fun is that? Blah, blah, blah. So anyway, he got me the glow forge for my, um, our anniversary. Um, I'd say three years ago. And if you've heard the story before, sorry, but, um, that's how I got started with all of this stuff. He just like opened a whole sack of worms. And so now we've got the big monster coming, but I got the big one because I want to be able to cut bigger things. Like right now I'm limited in my size, but I'm, how do you, I'm kind of liking how this one looks. It's just really fun and funky. And see, like you just couldn't get this look sanding. It would take so much work and so much time, especially on Um, so Amy said you did wood shop class and 4-H. See, that's such a great skill. Michelle, you've always wanted to learn how to crochet. So now that I am a grown woman with children, I think my granny, she'd be like, okay, chain 100. So we'd chain, she tossed a chain. So she teaches a chain to 100. And she'd be like, oh, pull it out and try again. So then we do it again. And I think she was just trying to keep us busy. <laughs> but that's how I learned to crochet. Um, and just enough to make a blanket. Yeah. I, with a crocheting, like I'll make a hat. I like this one. I'm going to stop there before I mess it up. Um, um, so yeah, I'm dangerous when it comes to crochet. Cause like I've made things that are just but I, I enjoy it and I enjoy that it's portable. And so, especially when we had tons of doctor's appointments when Nate was little and I was just always, it seemed like waiting for him to get out of something, procedure or surgery or an appointment that I wasn't, you know, that they needed me not to be in. And I, I crocheted, it kept my mind busy and it, I love it. It's a great skill. Um, What did I get him? Nothing. He will tell you. That's generally how it works. <laughs> Not because I don't love him or want, but generally um, he gets me something and he doesn't necessarily, it's just, he doesn't, we don't necessarily exchange gifts. Um, I think that he called that one a joint gift. Um, but usually like for, for our anniversary and stuff, he, he gets me the gifts, so I don't generally get him anything. Um, and generally for our anniversaries, we don't even gift each other anything. I mean, it was not most years. And this is the truth. He traveled like 90% for most of our marriage until COVID hit. And so, like, honestly, girls, um, he wasn't even home. Like, I, I like him being home for our anniversary has just started. I don't think we've ever, I think we've been out to dinner once we've been married. Wait, I don't know, 14 or 15 years. Um, so, um, 
I would like, we just are not, we don't typically either like Christmas, we don't usually give each other gifts because, um, I don't know, buying stuff for the kids. Um, I, I don't think that we did for Christmas this year because I know we didn't because we were getting a pool for the children, which is going to take like the rest of our life to recover from, but we got kiddo with special needs who really like the summers are so hard for him and he needs to be in water. So, um, I see some stuff about the, some was the laser by Angie. Um, yeah. So, okay. If anyone, so I researched the lasers, okay, and I, we also have a construction company, so I'm intimately familiar with the electrician piece, right, and what they do with the wiring and all of that, and so when I got into digging with the, the different lasers, because I was looking at the Mira, and it has a smaller footprint, and then I was looking at the Thunder, and for the life of me, I could not figure out why that they took the mirror and rewired it, right? And this, I'm not, this is not a jab at anything or anyone. But for me, I'm looking at it as somebody, I'm like, look, there is no upgrade unless maybe copper wiring. There's no upgrade on wiring. I don't have a single electrician that's ever worked for us that's been like, hey. Now, now if you get into like low voltage, which is like your cable, your internet connections, that kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, you've got your cat three, your cat four, your cat five, cat six now. No one even uses cat three anymore, which is like how fast your signal can travel, right? This the cat six makes your signal can carry more data at a quicker rate than the cat three. So people don't even mess with the cat three anymore. So that is, yeah, and it's more expensive to install cat six versus cat three. But I couldn't figure out why, Sheila, they rewire, and this is just me, like, why would you bring a machine in into your factory and then rewire it? Well, I mean, to me, so I just, I don't know, I didn't feel good about that. I would rather know that, look, the machine was built to the specs it should have been built on. There's no upgrade in wiring. I think this is good. What do you guys think? I kind of feel like it needs something here. So that's why I went with that. We could talk about it at length later. I would love to. Um, bye, Miss Lisa. Okay. So yeah, ask him. Is Ask him about the wiring. Talk to him and ask him because we were like, there's no, there's no. So my only thought is like, you know what? Maybe they don't have, they have some kind of like, because so, they come, they all come from China. But, you know, maybe there's something that they're they're doing in the, I don't know. I have no idea. But I, there's just not an upgraded wiring system unless it's. Um, you're not, yep, I know. And you know what? The, the holidays, honestly, are, the older I get, the more I feel like. Um, I, I just want to take as much stress out of the holidays as I can. Like, I don't like the rush, 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 hurry, hurry, hurry. We have to go 13 places in two days. Like, no, I don't want to do that. Okay. Um, I feel better about that. Now I just added some decor wax and sanded a little bit. I'm feeling better about they, they both look kind of equally. This one's a little more funky, which is fine. But see, I'm feeling good about these birdhouses. Oh, you're not doing gifts. You're going to make me. Yep. I know. I just feel like, okay, I've made a nice mess here, girl. So I'm going to clean this up a little bit and move things around and then we'll keep going. Yeah. I just, I think that, um, you know, I'm, and I think sometimes too, like the traveling, that's what we did for our kids at, um, I'm just getting the, the white dust off of here at the holidays. My sister and I, instead of getting them a gift, we did like a cousin's night and that way, you know, they, it's an experience and it's something that they'll remember forever, but you buy them like a, whatever the, 
hot toy is of the day. It's not an experience, right? It's it's just, and they're not going to play with it in 30 days anyway. So, okay. Um, let's look at these. So these are going to stack in sets of three. So they're kind of going to look like this. One, and we're going to glue those together. Ignore the paint on my hands. Um, I have a glow forge, but I got the, um, Thunder 51, 130. Um, so that's what we ended up on. And, um, they, I, I, so far I'm, I'm excited to get it and get it going. Um. I need some different sandpaper for one second. Hold on, I'm at, that sandpaper clogged up. I'm just gonna grab it, it's right here in the drawer. Hey Jennifer, did you guys see what she painted? Oh my gosh, I reposted it on my page, but go check it out, she painted this it is stunning. I mean, this door hanger, it's like a banner shape and it has these gorgeous flowers like No, it's a different brand they pulled in for re rewiring. Yeah, shoot me a DM. So, no, the Thunder does not get rewired. And I felt good about that, but I did not feel awesome about why why would you have to rewire it? Like what is wrong with it? when they build it, that you need to put new wires in it. And they're saying so that it's like super fast capacity, but I don't believe that because there's no speed. And I mean, there's copper and then there's, so I don't know. Yes. DM me. Um, and I can put you in touch with, um, they get the, the people that I know there and they will chat with you about it too. So crocheting. Oh, you're left-handed, Tammy. Yep, I know. So maybe, have you tried that? Um, see, I don't know about the crocheting with the left hand because, yeah, that would be tricky because it is learning it, I feel like is a visual skill where even if you're like stuck, you have to find like a visual tutorial to show you how to make those loops and the bobbles and all of the fun things, right? Um, yeah, the lasers are so fun. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. She's adding the, okay, you guys have got to go see this door hanger. So I saw her painting last night um, in her group because she does um, Sign Maker Society, which is like a painting group. And I saw her painting and it's like a private, it's her membership. So I'm in there and um, I saw her painting and I kept trying to comment, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't let me. And it is amazing. I mean, we're making a birdhouse, guys, if you're just popping on. But, um, and I use the Vaseline method to make it look all farmhouse funky. And, um, yeah, but it's that sign. Oh, my gosh. I would, I'll tell you what. So, Jennifer and I have two very different skill sets. Like... I cannot paint the way that like those, those big signs that stuff she does on there. Um, it is, oh, I'm really liking this. Um, she, she just, it was gorgeous. It was just absolutely gorgeous. You should list it. Like you should just, sell it seriously like it would fly like just sell the one like in fact I thought maybe I'm gonna message her and see if I can buy it because <laughs> it is gorgeous you know what else 
I have another thought about that. Anyway, we'll talk about the other one later. Because it was just, I have another thought about it. Okay, I'm thinking you would take that pattern and make it into a garden flag. That's what I was thinking. And people would, I mean, that would look gorgeous as a garden flag. Seriously. Yes, sell it because you know what? It's going to fly off. Like, I mean, I'm just. So anyway, she just has got this, this like very special gift when it comes to um, painting. Okay, I'm not really sure I should do this. So we're going to try a little bit, you guys, and we'll see what you guys think. Um, and then if it, if it sucks, if it sucks, we'll take it off. Yeah. I mean, that would, you could like, um, like print on demand. Like I kind of want one is I guess where I'm going with it. <laughs> I want a garden, <laughs> I want a garden flag with that pattern. So I'm like, can you like print on demand that thing? <sighs> oh, oh my gosh. I cannot get through a live without spilling my decor wax. Did you guys see that? I did. I mean, seriously, every live I spill this stuff and I've got it. I just did my nails. Yeah. Can you scan it in? You know what? Even if you could digitize it, I think it could be POD and then, or you could sublimate it. I mean, it's just, I cannot look at this. You guys, I just did them. So we're just gonna, <sighs> This is just me. I mean, I can't help it. I'm, I am a, a hot, hot, I'm a hot mess. Hmm. I'm not sure that the, the decor wax helps this. Hmm. Um, I just want to be able to paint like that. Like, I, I believe, like, with everything, like, you can learn how to do it, right? I mean, if you, it's a skill, right? And I'm sure some people will always be better than others. But, okay. I think what we're going to do is I kind of do. So, some of this wood, like any wood, right? We've got some variations in colors. And some is, like, really lighter and some is darker. And I'm just kind of going in here with this to see if I can get it. Yeah, I like the darker kind of looking one. And so I'm just kind of going over these really light areas and then rubbing it in to make it look a little darker. And I like that better. So the decor wax is just um, like this antique home decor wax. And folk art this is a great thing about the paint too is if you're not like you can always kind of fix it with something like it's not final I'm just kind of like natural I kind of want these to look like they've been outside A lot of sanding today. All right. We're getting close. I'm going to put this thing together. Um, so... I am. Yes. Girl, I am. We're just going to call me that. The clumsy crafter, right? Legitimately. Like, we'll just... I'm going to own that. I do every time. I spill something. I know. It's just a thing. Okay. Let's get this one done. And then we'll start putting things together. We're the same, Kim. Are you over here spilling stuff, too? Well, at least I'm not alone. Are you spilling stuff or can you paint beautiful flowers? Because I've, oh, I'm over here spilling stuff. Um, I just, so you see the difference. See
to hear this. Um, I didn't put as much Vaseline on here. And you see like those little spots where like when you sand it, you get these distressed edges. But when you've got that Vaseline all around, um, it's, it's um, the whole thing kind of gets funky. <laughs> I know. Well, you know me, right? You get my early morning boxers before coffee. I don't know if you made it. I left her a long message this morning and I was like, okay, just like, I'm not really sure anyone should listen to this, but I had a lot to say about things I was thinking with the sign I saw. I had all of these great ideas. So, okay, so then these are going to get stacked up and I like this. We're going to, we're going to roll with it. But I'm going to get my stuff organized. You know, I have to organize it or else I get things all crazy and confused. I will tell you for sure when you use the Vaseline and then you go back with the sandpaper, guys. Um, it is much messier than when you just sand because the paint is coming off in like these like big clumps. And so um, and so. Just FYI, it is much messier. You left me six messages after that. <laughs> oh, it's good to have friends. I'm Amy, I'm glad you're a hot mess too. I am. You know what? This is just... But you know what? This is too... You can use this. Let's say you grab something from the Dollar Tree and you're going to repaint it. You can use this method too. You know, I mean, you can use it. I think Michelle asked that and I don't think I answered it because we got to talking about something else, guys. But you can use it. Um, you can use it. Anything you can paint, you can put the Vaseline on it and then paint over it. Okay. All right, girls. Let's, do we have, we have all the things. I am looking for, mm -hmm, I have this. Welcome to our nest. But I had those, um, oh man, oh, they're right here. Okay, I was going to say, please tell me I didn't throw them out. The navy buttons. Okay. I know, I'm, I'm not sure I'm out of baby wipes or they are like in back in the shop or something. I can't, I could not find any this morning. And so... I'm just sanding the edges of this off a little bit and then I'll probably hit it again, but I went with Navy. We'll see how that turns out. I tried white and I didn't like it. So I went over it with Navy and then we'll see from there. Okay. And like, look at this. Oh. Um, I know. I don't know why. It, okay. I know this probably makes Joe's skin crawl too. When I'm just like over here wiping stuff and then come back with the vacuum and clean it up. All right. I'm going to start with this because these need to set and I don't, I'm out of that ease, um, Loctite and these need to be put back together. <sighs> But are you upstairs now? You should come down and say hi. Come down and say hello. Yes, I'm gonna miss you. It's gonna be I'm gonna be exhausted when you get back. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know what? Your grandson's wife. <laughs> you you make do with what you have, right? So these are gonna go on here. And so there's like a little perch under each under each space right kind of like that i'm gonna sand this so if you ever get a piece of wood that kind of looks can you guys see that little funky on the side um that's just a knot in the wood and when the laser cuts through when I catch them coming out, I try and, you know, as long as there's no void, I try and just hit them with the sandpaper before I ship them out. But if you ever get one, just hit it with the same. It's just a, a natural, natural byproduct. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> you 
remember that when he was like, I can't do that. I might go viral. What are, what's going to happen if I'm in Walmart and people know who I am because they saw me and I'm, I was viral. And my husband is a hot mess. Okay, let's spray these and get these on here. I do wish I had my Loctite for this, but I ran out and I still haven't bought any more. So I keep, I keep forgetting. Okay. I'm going to put it about here, I think. Yeah, that's about right. Okay. These are going to look so cute. Okay. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like that. I'm just kind of eyeballing it because there's not, there's no score marks on here to show me exactly where to put it. And then these are our little roofs. Um... Oh, are you going to come try? Come on. Oh, he's got to work. He's over here whispering. He's got to work. So he can't come say hi. I got to get packed. Oh, he's got to get packed. We could at least say hi. Well, they have like. They probably think that it's like some fake person. I have a fake, I have a fake husband. <laughs> that was him. I did get him to videotape a reel on Easter. That was actually him. And he didn't go viral. So, I mean, that was my one shot, right? Yeah, you at the right oh, I wasn't looking at the right metrics. It did go viral. Okay. Well, you know. Let's say hi, honey. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love you, too. Oh, he's a mess. He's a hot mess. Okay. So... I, okay, this little, see this little, um, they said hi. Um, hey, Cassie. So see this little knot in there from the wood? I painted that. See how cool that looks, especially with this, this, um, like, shabby, funky motif. It's just, is going to add a little character. One of the things I love about working with wood He's a mess. He is a mess. They all said hi, and he's gone. He is long gone. Um, he's got a pack for their um camp out today. Welcome to Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to put the R nest on first. I do like this. Um, my hands are just oh, so gross right now. They've got like, like this is a ton messier than just regular paint. It's not just because I'm clumsy. I am generally in my life clumsy too. So we'll just be honest about that. So here last night, Joe, aren't they cute? I know. See, and okay, this is. Like, you could put this on here with vinyl. I mean, you totally could. You could get, you know, cut it with vinyl. But, and I, I love my vinyl cutter, but I also love this little, like, 3D effect of the wood. They're just so fun. This is my glue. Gorilla Glue Spray Adhesive Heavy Duty. You can get it in different sizes. This is a 14 ounce can. It does last me a very, very long time. Um, you know, it's a great glue. Um, you just, 
have to learn how to use it. You want to spray like just enough that it gets covered a little more than you think you're going to need, but not so much, much that it gushes out the side. This does not foam like the other, you know, the other Gorilla Glue that foams. This does not foam. Okay, so I'm going to glue the stands together. Um, I'm going to turn this upside down and put something on it. Um, no, Joe is in a Scoutmaster. It's a good question. Um, he, he isn't a Scoutmaster. He, um, Nate just ranked up from Cub Scouts to Boy Scouts. And we, my oldest, the one that has special needs, and we let him decide what he wants to do in terms of, you know, does he want to continue? He decided he wanted to continue. And then he also decided that he wanted to, we let him pick his troop. And so he picked this troop. But um, there are other kids that have been in the program with this troop, in all the troops actually, that are neurodiverse. Um, and the one thing that they all said was that they suggested, you know, heavy parental participation for success because it's not like Cub Scouts where, um, you go to the meeting and you complete your requirement and you go home. There's almost, you know, there's, there are things you can do outside, but it's, you know, Boy Scouts requires a lot of independence. They teach leadership and initiation and all that, it, taking initiative, not, you know, and so, um, which is harder for a kid that's neurodiverse. And so right now we're going to, one of us is going to all of his meetings and camp outs. Yes, and he is the he is the trailer guy, meaning he pulls the trailer <laughs> to the camp out, and they're very excited to have a trailer guy, someone that has a vehicle that can pull the trailer. Okay, so he is the trailer. That's what they call him, the trailer guy. So, yes, um, this so get it in the different sizes, the smaller size. I spray into a box top. Um, and that way, that way it, it, in my head, it doesn't, you know, it's less messy. Um, I don't have my big wood clamps out here. So this is because it's three layers. You just need to like get it upside down and get something heavy on it to put a little bit of pressure on it. That's why that glue sets, right? Um, so yeah, they've got it. He's going to pull a trailer. But, and we've always been super involved. Like, we were Cub Scout leaders in Texas. Um, but a lot of times when the kids get into Boy Scouts, they're not as, you know, the, the parents, the parental re requirement is less. Um, yeah, you know what? It really is great that he can go to me. I mean, it's. Cub Scouts, I think, for Nate, has been a really fabulous activity where he gets to go, he's successful, he enjoys it, and there's so much practical learning that takes place that I think is super important for kids who have um, out-of-the-box challenges. Oh, Gail, you got a phone call. Yeah, you know, we're just chatting about things. Let me see if I can turn this on and give you guys some more light here. There. Oh, look at that. Let there be light. Okay. So I'm just turning this upside down. We're getting close. So our bird. Let's see what we're going to do with the swing. Um, that is a lot better. I have, except that it's on my forehead. Look, because I have a light right here. Um, they look a little weird, but we'll just kind of try to stay out of that space. Oh yeah. The Pinewood Derby, the Pinewood Derby is serious. Kim. Yeah. The kids, Kim saying that her brothers did the Pinewood. Like that's a serious, it's a very serious event. There, um, last year the kids did really well. Oh, my sandpaper's dirty. Um, 
it's a great event for the kids, right? So we're just standing the bird down, guys. I've got weights on all of this. If you're watching, I'm wondering, what is she doing? I've got weights out here to, like, make my glue set. Um, I need to grab my black paint marker for the bird. I'm going to do the bird's eye before I glue on the wing. That's, I think I'm happy with that wing. Um, my handy-dandy Walmart painter's marker. Okay, do you guys know that Hobby Lobby carries a vast array of paint markers? Bye, Michelle. I know, this one, we've been on here for a little bit. Um, have a great day. Yeah, Hobby Lobby carries a vast array of paint markers. Has anyone ever tried Hobby Lobby's paint markers? I have not, that's what I'm asking. Okay, I'm just trying to get the eye to be roundish. Let's see, I'm gonna set it over here to dry while we put the rest of it together. Okay, so we need to put the little knobs. If I had Loctite right now, that's what I would use for these little bird perches because they're just like the best. I mean, it's just super quick and it, I mean, it locks it tight like right away. So, but I don't, like I said, I'm out. So, um, God, my hands are so messy. Oh, you got your paint markers from Amazon, Linda? Yeah, you know, I, I have so many paint markers. I didn't really feel like I could justify buying them, like, just to test. But maybe when I, one of these runs out, I will get some from Hobby Lobby. I mean, they had a massive wall of paint markers. Okay. All right. I have one. Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you, Jesus, because this is my hands were oh, they were just a little too much. Okay. The Vaseline paint, just be prepared, guys. Be prepared because it is kind of messy. It looks great, but it is a messy. Okay. Next step. So, let me grab my jute, which is just right here. We are going to put um, a little, like a, we're going to tie it on here, right? Um. Your teenage daughter took all your paint markers, Amy. Amy said, her, yeah, you know what? they?" And Jennifer says, maybe she tried Hobby Lobby and was not a fan. I mean, it's possible. I um, wonder if this will work. I'm just tying this on. I still have all of that decor wax stuck in my fingernail. It's so gross. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. So I just tied like a little slip knot thingy right there. That'll look cute. So it's going to hang on here. And I will probably glue it in place. But I want to get it. Mm -hmm. Is so Linda's saying she likes the chalk paint from Hobby Lobby. What brand did you get? Because I was there and I found um, the folk art 
home decor chalk paint there in tiny bottles. Not tiny, but you know, like this size. And it was like a, a buck and a half a bottle. So I got several colors to try. What is it a different brand? I might have cut that too short. Um, I just wonder. Okay. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to cut that. Okay. That's the brand she gets. It's the Folk Art Home Decor brand. Okay. Yeah. Um, I got some cool colors. They had a really great selection. Um, so Stacy uses... Oh, hold on just a second, Tammy. Folk art chalk. Okay. Stacy from Wilshire. You're using Waverly. I've got the Hobby Lobby. But let me show you what I bought. It's right here. I just got these three colors because I thought it would be fun for spring. Um, I'm going to try these. I wanted to buy all of them. I did practice some restraint. Um, I've used the white folk art and I like it, but then... Okay, I'm going to glue this at an angle. So I'm going to kind of, yeah. And again, if I had my Loctite, that's that would be the way to go with this sign. But I don't have my Loctite. So, um, so Tammy, not yet. I thought I should have had them in there if I was like, if I was organized enough. This week has been hectic with the meetings for Nate and everything. But I'm going to get them in there and I will send you an email. And I will also send a text out so you guys know it's there. Okay. Okay. That's cute. Yep. I like folk art. Linda likes Waverly. I do not have any Waverly chalk paints. Um, I have... Um, the, the hello hot oh see that's why i wanted the loctite because this thing is a booger rare because it the gorilla glue takes a little longer to set and folk art you think they have more color options um i love the hello hobby because of how they all just kind of go together any ones that you choose um but i haven't I want to try these. We got these. I found these um, last summer. I found these two. Okay, Jen uses Jen uses Waverly and she loves it. So eventually we're going to change out the flooring in the basement. Um, and I say eventually because who knows how long that's going to take. But um, I found these two like antique end tables at Hobby Lobby. I actually think they're bedside tables, not at Hobby Lobby, at the thrift store. And they were 10 bucks each. And so I'm going to repaint them at some point when we decide what we're going to colors we're going to do down here. And um, I want to do um, see, look at that. Is that perfect or what? Do you know what's in uh, um, this needs some sanding but anyway the whole i found them i got both of them for 10 bucks they're gorgeous and i'm gonna paint them i'm gonna chalk paint them at some point but i just haven't decided what color because i don't know what color we're gonna do down here but mm -hmm. I'm liking that. Okay. We may not need the moss, guys. Let's just be honest. We may not need the moss. So this one goes in here. Now with these guys, this is like a nice fit. Like I tell you before, if it's a little tight, like test it before you do it. And if it's a little tight, flip it over. And if it's just a little loose, like put some, put some, uh, tape on the bottom. You can also glue this right in there, especially because it's taller. You have anything taller. Sometimes I suggest gluing something in there. So, um, 
I know these did turn out really cute, didn't they? Where's the bird? Where's my bird? This is the bird. If you guys weren't here before, this is the bird from, um, do we need the bird? This is the bird from um, the kit. I just shrunk them down. But I've seen about putting some Spangum, Spanish moss on the bottom. Let's try that. These are cute. Thank you. Where's I just saw Sandy said these are cute. Thank you. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you, Chris. I think they are. His little eye is still wet because I had to go in there. Can you guys even see what I'm doing? I'm just gluing his wing on. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yes. I just I spilled the paint all over my hands. Um. So, let me see, Amy, Miss Amy. So here's what we did. This is the bird from the Joyful Crafting Club. Okay, see him? And so I just shrunk him down to, to put with this because I thought he would look super cute, like with the birdhouse. Because I, in my head, I kind of saw like, some of this moss down here and then like a little bird sitting. I mean, I guess he could sit here too, like wherever you want to put him. So what do you guys think? Cause this is kind of what I was thinking uh, to do. I mean, I, okay. I personally think that they look great just like this, right? This is one step one, right? You've got your, and you could do these. If your decor isn't Navy, if you've got baby blue, you could do baby blue and white. You could do black. You could do red. I mean, you could literally, these are, you could make it any color you want. It doesn't have to be navy, but navy was one of the main colors um, in the tray that I did. And I wanted something to sit next to the tray. So that's where this came in. And so this tiny little bird, um, I thought, I thought he would go here. Let's just see. But I kind of saw like some moss on the bottom, I thought, just for fun. This stuff is so dirty. Um, it's always so messy. Um, yeah, so I just shrunk him down to go with this because I thought it would, this one's got something and I thought it would just be a fun extra, right? This one goes with the, the kit and the big goofy flowers, but it was just the same bird. I just shrunk him. If Sheila's still here, oh, I just hit myself in the eye. If Jen, if you're watching, no commenting about my clumsy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, yeah, you guys, vote on the bird placement. Let's talk about bird placement. Hey, Amy. This is my other friend, Amy, from Wix Wax Candle. Oh my gosh. I think that's cute. So the boys, especially Lucas, is so, he loves, um, I don't know, did I tell you this, that I got the little plugins for your wax melts, um, which honestly has fixed the stinky boy bathroom problem. I put it in, in I was like, mm, but um, I like this. What do you guys think about the moss? Um, so yeah, he, he's like all about it. Like he turns it off turns it on. I know I should just, I know, right? Like I'm just such a klutz, but we'll just roll with it. So I was starting to tell you guys about Joe last night. So he comes home from Walmart with this camping stuff because we were like, just, okay, I'm going with the moss. We're, we're liking the moss. I have two votes for the moss. Anyone else want to vote? Because like once the hot glue goes on, it's kind of like, we're kind of committed. And so, um, okay, Joe, um, he comes home from Walmart and he's like freaking out. And it was late. I mean, we usually have the kids in bed by like 8.30, 8.45. It was late. I do have my head in the camera. Sorry. Um, and, and he's freaking out and he's like, I lost the credit card. I'm like, what? 
He's like, I, I lost the credit card. I can't find the credit card. And I'm like, you, you do well. And I'm thinking it's got to be around here. So Joe doesn't lose. He's Joe is one of those like uber focused people. Like you give him a job to do and he actually finishes the job, you know, um, and you don't have to remind him like, hey, like I'm like, hey, I need you to do this. He goes and gets it done. And there's no free, like me, you tell me to do something. And like three days later, I'll be like, did you do that? I'm like, well, did you write it down for me? <laughs> did you, did you like see me write it in my planner? So, um, so anyway, um, oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Vote on the bird placement. Cause we're going to have to attach the bird. We're getting close to the end. The bird goes here. I think I don't want him here, but I think the bird could go here. Or he could go here. So where is our bird going to go? So kind of look at it in relation. Should he go down? Because they're going to sit together. Or should he go here? I like kind of perched. Let's vote. So anyway, um, he's very focused. He doesn't lose his credit card. He doesn't lose anything. I'm the one who's only wears an Apple watch so I can ding my phone. <laughs> That is the that is the biggest purpose behind the Apple Watch is that I can ding my phone when I lose it because I lose my phone frequently. Um, I also have two pairs of earbuds, one for the car and one for the house, or one in my purse and one for the house because otherwise they were just lost all of the time and no one really knew where they were. And so I, I look at him after we've looked, he's looked everywhere. And I'm like, I just don't, I'm like, I don't know. And he's, and we look on the credit card and thankfully like, oh, this is a mess. He's, it's everywhere. Um, you know, no one had charged anything, but he's like, I, I think, I think it's lost. And, and I look at him, I'm like, you know, if it was me that said I lost the credit card, if you dug around in my purse, it's probably just somewhere. Right. Um, it's, it's probably just somewhere. Um, but, and it didn't, you know, you'll find it if you dig around in there long enough. It's It fell out of my wallet and it's in there. I put it in the wrong slot and I haven't figured out which slot it's in. If I lost it, it will probably turn up. I'm like, if you lost it, I think it's probably gone. And he's like, I really agree about that. <laughs> he's like, that's probably the truth. <laughs> because he's just, Joe is like uber focused. He's like a task man. Okay, girls, I did get a new glue gun. This is my neighbor's. Um, I was going to do a YouTube video on it to like show you guys and give you guys thoughts about it. So when you go to buy a glue gun, because there's such good discussion. So I'm using my neighbor still. I need to get the video done so I can return it. Um, but I texted her and I'm like, the dog ate my glue gun and I've got to get these orders out and I need a glue gun. And she's like, oh, yeah, no worries. She had three. I said, this, I only had two, and they, they both got ruined. So, okay. Okay, so we voted by the whole. Oh, Painted Relaxations makes the point. Yeah, no, I, I got the Sure Bonder. I'm going to do a video for it. This one is my neighbor's. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, this is a big decision. It's like the, the finale. Paint of relaxation. So you have a first name. Because we want to call you something else. Besides just painted relaxations. I'm sure you do. I'm sure I've seen it. Hmm. I know I'm kind of thinking I also like the bird. Teresa. Okay. Hey, Teresa. Nice to meet you. Okay. We're going to put the bird down here. I think maybe. Yeah. I think I'm going to go with the bird down here. Thanks for painting. I like the bird down there. That's what we're going to do. I think you're right. Um, what about on the top? Yeah, I know. I thought about that too. He could go on the top, like kind of hanging out up here. Hmm. 
Well, just for time's sake, we'll put it down here. And then if anyone makes this and they put the bird elsewhere. We'll just a second bird. I know, like going the other way, maybe all kinds of things we could do. Flip the file. OK, let's get the bird on there. So, yeah, this was this was a fun one. This would look great on a mantle, too. You know what I mean? A spring mantle with like even a pretty green wreath. Like one of those moss wreaths. So yeah, we had to cancel the credit card. I did get the cordless. Um, so you're guys thinking a second bird going that way. I think you might be right. I, could, I can cut another one. There's actually room on that board to do a second bird, which would not. Um, yeah, I, I think I'll include the two birds in the kit. And it, it, it's still going to fit in one space, which means I don't have to get out, cut a second board, which would mean no cost of difference. Um, but I haven't, I haven't put a cost with it, but it's just going to be a tiny little bird. Okay, yes, like this would even be cute at Christmas because you could put a little wreath. This could be a wreath instead of welcome to our nest. Yeah, there's all kinds of things to do with this. Super cute. In fact, we need to make a note to bring this back at Christmas. Okay, girls, let me, um, this one is super cute. Oh my gosh. Let's pick some names because we need names before I, um, let me do some, let's show you guys. Or like, I think one bird, like a little different size though, not the exact same size. Let me, let me go to single screen. Let me, let me minus my, look at this. I look like I have a halo head because of this light right here. Um, let's remove this. Let's go to here. Look at this. Oh my gosh. This is okay. It turned out really good, didn't it? What do you guys think? Love it. Love it. Yeah. There'll be two birds with it. I'm going to put two birds with it, but I just thought. It would look so cute next to the tray we made. And I thought, look, I because we I need a little something, something. Um, so let me pick some names. Um, I have a different jar. So this is the this is the the um this is the new joyful jar, not the same one that we use in the club, guys. So I'm gonna use a different color paper too. So Real, let's just pick. We're gonna make two. I'm just gonna stop and we landed on Sheila Arnold. At some point, I'll figure out how to use the prize wheel, but it just seems like a lot of work. And we landed on Sandy Burton Nelson. I landed on Sheila twice. That's why I paused because I looked up and it was Sheila again. So I, that, that was it. Okay, ready? Here we go. And Sheila again. Deanna. Okay. Two more ladies. Yay. Congratulations. Woohoo. Oh, and to those of you who won the Hello Spring, those are going out today. Remember the Hello Spring, the four of you? It was Amy, Pam, Emily, and Juanita. Those are going out today. Gail Nichols. So look for those. It'll take a couple days to get there, but it took me longer than I wanted to get those packaged up, but it just did. I'm not looking, and... Oh, I got Gail again. Let's pick someone else. Amy Humphreys. All right, ladies. What's today? The 14th. I'll pick, I'll pick in a winner from this jar next week. So we'll do a couple more lives and then get some names from here. Deanna, you do got some crafting for the weekend. Get some Netflix and peel the wood. 
Um, <laughs> I thought about you when I was packaging that up because you were like, wow, I didn't, the peeling I've not peeled before, but there are benefits you learned, right? Like the wood is clean. It's not nasty. It's not burnt. Um, so yeah, but I will text the list and post and email this um, when it's ready and we'll add another bird. And um, yeah, it's so cute. So um, thank you guys for hanging out with me. I'm sorry I was late. I had so much fun. Cannot believe it's 1.30. Um, have a happy, happy rest of your day. And um, I'll see you guys next week sometime. If not this weekend, um, I was going to show you guys some, some, because you know, I'm 47. I've been talking about like, I need to work out more. I have some workout stuff. I want to show you some healthy living stuff. So, um, but I'll talk to y'all soon. Thanks for hanging out. Mwah. Have an awesome Friday. Yeah. Enjoy your weekend. Everyone have a great weekend. And if you're in the Joyful Crafting Club and you haven't painted your tray, man, get that painted. See y'all later. <laughs>